Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, uh, the Denver Broncos lost to the Washington Commanders 35 to 33 in a game, a crazy game. You even had a Hail Mary touchdown for the last play of the ball game. Russell Wilson connected with Brandon Johnson for a 50 yard touchdown pass um, to Brandon Johnson with like three or four tips on the play. Brandon Johnson gets it in the end zone, and the Broncos were down eight at the time. So, in that case, uh, the um, the Broncos needed uh, the Broncos needed a two point conversion. They went for the two point conversion. Russell Wilson threw a pass to Cortland Sutton, but it was it was it was broken up. And the Commanders win this ball game. The Commanders are two and zero, and the Broncos have uh, started zero and two to two. You know, close games at probably two games they should have won against the Commanders. They you know had. A good lead in this ball game. They were up 18 points in the second quarter when Russell Wilson threw a 16-yard touchdown pass to uh, the guy that did it in the fourth quarter, Brandon Johnson. Extra point was good, and they were up 21 to three. Then a quick comeback for the Commanders. They score a touchdown and a two-point conversion, and a field goal, and then another touchdown. It's tied up at 21. Then after that, it was a very close game. A couple of Brian Robinson touchdowns in the fourth quarter spread this game apart, and then the Broncos were able to make a comeback in the fourth quarter. But then the two-point conversion would have sent this game to overtime, but the the Broncos could not get that two-point conversion and to send this game to overtime. All right, so scoring summary. Um, first quarter, there were three scores. Jaleel McLaughlin with a five-yard uh, five yard touchdown run. It's 7-0. to zero. Extra points, good. Then Joey Sly with a 44-yard field goal. It's 7-3. to three. Then Russell Wilson throws a 60-yard touchdown pass to Marvin Mims Jr., the rookie. He had a spectacular game today, and then it's 14-3. Then Russell Wilson in the second quarter have three scores in the second quarter. This is Russell Wilson's second and, I believe, final— no, Russell Wilson's um, second of three touchdown passes right here to Brandon Johnson, 16-yard touchdown pass from Russell Wilson. It's 21-3. to Broncos have an 18-point lead, but here is when it gets— here is where the commanders start to come back at the end of the second quarter and to start the third quarter. Uh, you got a Sam Howell four-yard touchdown pass to Logan Thomas, Brian Robinson Jr. run for the two-point conversion. It's 21-11. to 11. And then going into halftime, Joey Sly makes a 49-yard field goal. It's a seven-point game, 21-14 to 14 going into halftime. Then Sam Howell throws a 30-yard touchdown pass to Terry McLaurin. It's 21-21. to 21. And then that's in the third quarter with 11 minutes remaining. And then with two minutes remaining, Will Lutz, uh, takes the lead for the Broncos, 24-21 with a 31-yard field goal. Then the fourth quarter, a couple touchdowns by Brian Robinson Jr., a two-yard touchdown run for the for the Commanders. It's 28-24. to And then a 15-yard touchdown run with seven minutes remaining for Brian Robinson Jr. It's 35-24. to Then Will Lutz with a minute and 50 seconds remaining. Uh, it hits a 32-yard field goal. It's 35-27. to and then Russell Wilson connects with Brandon Johnson on a 50-yard pass, which was a Hail Mary. The Broncos have a chance to potentially end up tying this ball game with a two-point conversion, and they fail to do so. Uh, game leaders, Sam Howell threw 27 for 39 with 299 passing yards, two passing touchdowns, while Russell Wilson threw 18 for 32 with 308 passing yards and three passing touchdowns. While Brian Robinson Jr. was the leader in rushing yards for the Commanders with 18 carries, 87 rushing yards, and two rushing touchdowns. While the leader in rushing yards for the Broncos was quarterback Russell Wilson with six carries for 56 rushing yards. The leader in receiving yards was Terry McLaurin for the Commanders with five receptions, 54 receiving yards, and one receiving touchdown. And then leader in receiving yards for the Broncos was two receptions and 113 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown for rookie Marvin Mims Jr., then, getting into some other stats, Javante Williams had 12 carries for 44 rushing yards. Um, Brandon Johnson had two receptions for 66 receiving yards and two receiving touchdowns. Cortland Sutton uh, had five receptions for 66 receiving yards. Jerry Judy, he did not play last week, played his first game in 2023, three receptions, 25 receiving yards. Then some other stats for the Commanders, John Bates, three receptions, 46 receiving yards. Gibson, 44 receiving yards. Robinson Jr., 42 receiving yards. And Jahan Dotson only had 22 receiving yards in this ball game. Fumbles. Uh, Russell Wilson did lose a fumble in this ball game, and it was recovered uh, by Cody Barton. And then um, Sam Howell fumbled in this ball game, and it was recovered by Andrew Wiley, offensive lineman. Uh, defense. Cody Barton led the Commanders in tackles, and he also had a fumble recovery. So good day for him. 
He led them in tackles with 10. How about seven sacks for the Commanders, though? Did they have? They had themselves a day. Four sacks for the Broncos, though. Um, you have one and a half sacks for Chase Young, one and a half sacks for Montez Sweat, one sack for Deron Payne, one sack for uh, James Smith-Williams, one sack for Casey Tuhill, and one sack for Jamie Davis. That was it for the sacks today for the Commanders. Four sacks for the uh, Broncos, two for Jonathan Cooper, one for Randy Gregory, and one for Nick Bonito, and the only interception in this ball game was by rookie Emmanuel Forbes, who had an interception, and that was for a three-yard return. Uh, use them out your thoughts on the game today. Great game, a back and forth game between the Commanders and the Broncos. This was probably one of my favorite games to watch throughout Week One this week, or sorry, Week Two this week. That's the video. Though, hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.